Okay. So here's what we're doing. Today we're gonna go over like this brush up here. I guess you could call it like a map paint thing or whatever. I mean a bump map that whatever it's bump paint, something like that. Well that's what I use. Um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use invert, bring the strength all the way up. As you can see, I already made this kind of like wolf thing to start off with. So what we do with this is, let me show you how it works. See, it goes in like a star. It's very simple. Just choose what you want, okay? And make sure it's not a whole bunch of shapes. Just like, because what it does is it recognizes the shape okay so make sure you don't take a picture that just has a whole bunch of shapes in it like a background of a city or something it has to have you know just a basic shape you know it's perfect for putting in you know like if you're making a dragon it's perfect for good putting in scales or something and you know what I can show you right now uh, is it strength all the way up yeah Okay, let's zoom in. Pan. Edit now. And up here. I want to use the mouse. Mouse is just better for this. Go in and zoom out. You see that? Yeah. And that's what you want. And then it's like that, of course, you know, you don't have to use a star. Just use a basic, you know, like if you're making a dragon, this would be great for dragon scales. Whether th rather than use increase, this would just save you like a few minutes. And since we can't undo the rest, we're just going to smooth it off. See? Okay, go back. I like it there. Smooth that. Okay, I'm just gonna have to turn up the strain. And whenever something's just too much, like you didn't mean to make it that indented, you smooth. Well, of course, I guess. Well, control Z. There. Now you have, you know, star there. So it's kind of like a star wolf or wolf star or something. See? Yeah, isn't that awesome? And yeah, that's just how you uh use that. I guess that was pretty short, huh? And... It doesn't have to be invert either. You can... You can actually bring it up. Ooh, my bad. I'm using smooth. Draw is what I meant to use. But the only problem with that is it gets the whole thing. It's like I got this from like a square picture. So it shows that whole thing. You might want to edit the image with Photoshop in order to make it more, you know, like get rid of the white right there in Photoshop you can get rid of that so yeah there you go there indent feature or whatever it's called I just call it indent feature but you know I wonder what this looks like uh, and then there are different materials which in my next tutorial I'll show you how to add your own materials I'm not sure. This version might be different. But I'll make sure. Oh, this could be a good icon for like a for like a software. Take a picture. This is a good icon. And a little bit more shiny. Hmm. See, I like that. That looks much better. 
And what you can do is, like I said, save image and let it render. Oh wait, 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 wait. Cancel. Just remembered something. Show symmetry line. No. And I never saved that because I like the symmetry line there. But if you're about to render it, just take that off. But JPEG. Hold on a minute. Think of a name. How about Dark Wolf? Wolficon? Yeah, Wolficon, like for a software or something. This would be a great icon. Wolficon. Wolficon. Oh, Wolf Icon. Wow, that's, that's I just noticed that. Wow, if it was separated, it would make Wolf Icon. Maybe I swear I should save this. But, you know, there you go. I usually save my sculpts in a special file, but I didn't feel like doing that. Next time I save one, I'll do it to get sculptures back into the habit of it. Because uh, I didn't do that with the new sculptures I have. Yay! It finished. Okay. And instead of showing you this at the end of, like, you know, just blanks to it, I'm going to actually uh, show you right now. Just show you Wolf Icon. Wolf Icon. Okay. If you heard any of that, that's my sister. Not sure you heard any of that in the background. Hope you didn't. Okay. There it is. There it is. And see, you can edit it. Like, if you think that wasn't glossy enough, you can easily use these tools to edit it. Yeah, you can edit it. Just like... Like, if you want it... See, look at that. That's perfect, see? There. And if you go on Photoshop, which I don't want to change background in here because it gets a little messy. But in Photoshop, you can just use the selection tool and change background. And that's one of the many things you can do with Photoshop. But I prefer to edit images in here. It's just, to me, it's much better like to paint edit them. It's much better. Because in Sketchbook Pro, which I'm using, look at that. It's kind of like sculpting in Sketchbook Pro. See, I'm just editing the image. You know, I think the eye's red. There we go. I'm using uh, one of the limit. You know, Sketchbook Pro, it may not have as many brushes. But you can make your own brushes, but I really don't like that. You know, so if you really want, you know, it doesn't have as many brushes as you probably want. But it's great for editing. See, look at that. He's got these red eyes and stuff now. Isn't that so cool? So now, if you just zoom out, look at that. Isn't that pretty sweet? File. Save as. Oh, I'll save it as Wolficon again. Just rewrite it. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, my bad. Let's press backspace. Those keys are close together. Yeah, I'll replace. Okay. Isn't that awesome? And now. There it is. Which I think. Wait. Wait a second. Alright. Oop, my bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot to put the F there. Okay. And now we're going to open with Windows Photo Viewer. Okay, loading, 
Still loading. There it is. Pause. Yeah, that's it in full screen. That's sweet. Okay. Back. Oh, I wonder if you could see that. Uh, I hope you were able to see that. I'm not sure. Uh, well, you can see it from right here, can't you? See, can you see it from right there? So it looks like, well, you already saw it from, um, Sketchbook Pro. So, next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this. Okay, save as... Give it that. And, uh, again, you know, in the next tutorial, I want to teach you, like, more about, you know, sculpting, like, um, like, sculpting, like, something like this out. It probably won't be the exact same thing as this, but it'll be like sculpting something like this out, how to do that. Because, you know, maybe that's probably why you're looking up tutorials on Sculptress, to see how to do that. Which, there's a sculpture sculpting tutorial, but, um... I just want to like really like for I guess intermediate I guess or something like that just really just like if you know all the tools in it then this next tutorial I'm going to make is going to be just like how to use them more okay I already saved it what am I doing oh uh, yeah trying to get to camera stage what what is the crap they call it and a little bit more time than the video. Countdown with me. Okay. Three, two, one. Now. 